Hello and welcome to the Scam Channel. Today we are going to discover ways to safeguard your Facebook page from potential ID theft, personalized scams and hacking. Facebook is a wonderful tool. It allows us to communicate instantly with people halfway around the world. It allows us to share our accomplishments and dreams. We can even show friends pictures of our travels and what we've been eating. Most people tend to forget, though, that Facebook is a direct portal into our lives. And if you don't protect it properly, it opens up countless ways for criminals to take advantage. Imagine that your Facebook page is your home. Would you allow every stranger passing by access into your private house to snoop around? Of course not. You probably don't mind them admiring your home from the street and might even let them peek in a window or two. But you would only allow those you trust access inside. And it should be exactly the same with your Facebook page. Firstly, let's deal with your password. First prize for any would-be hacker is to get your password, and there are several ways to do this. The most common is by using a technique called clickbaiting. Clickbaiting is gaining momentum as a popular way to trick web users into leaving the safety of Facebook and exploiting their curiosity in order to get their password. The Facebook posts driving the clickbait phenomenon are the equivalent of yesteryear's newspaper hawkers shouting EXTRA! EXTRA! READ ALL ABOUT IT! Clickbait headlines typically aim to exploit the curiosity gap, providing just enough information to make the reader curious, but not enough to satisfy their curiosity without them clicking through to the linked content. Headlines range from the sexy, to the shocking, to the helpful. They usually start with words like OMG! This is amazing, you have to see it for yourself, or take this quiz to see what character you are, and typically end with, you won't believe what happened next. All of these clickbaiting posts are designed to rouse our curiosity, just enough to click the link to discover the cute, funny, sexy, amazing, or helpful article or video. One technique to get your password is asking you to verify your login details, or log in using your Facebook profile. This will automatically get the cyber criminals your password. Another technique is to get you to register for a free account before you can watch the video, for example. Statistics show that 75% of internet users will use the same password for most of their accounts. And if you do this, the cyber criminal has your email address and password, which is all they need to log into your Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, or social media accounts. Not all clickbaiting is for hacking purposes. Other reasons include to drive viewers to websites, to push up revenue in pay-per-click opportunities, or perhaps to increase traffic on normal websites in order to inflate the price of advertising space. Many people believe that passwords are protected because as they type the password, you don't actually see the characters. All you see are little black dots. However, you need to know that all websites are written with a code called HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. And anybody versed in this programming language, which is any hacker worth his salt, can easily discover your password. To prove this to yourself, load up any one of your online accounts which require you to log in using a password. Now type whatever you like in the password block, and no one knows what it is because all you see are the little black dots, right? Wrong. You see, everything on this page is coded, and if you know what to look for, you can easily discover the password. In this example, right-click over the area where you entered your password, and select Inspect Element. This will open a separate box, detailing the code used to create this section of page. If you look to where the code refers to password, click there and replace the word password with the word text. Now press enter and watch your hidden password magically reappear. This is how hackers get your password, especially when you forget to log out after using public internet cafes or when you log in to unsecured, untrusted Wi-Fi hotspots that follow your online movements. Some advanced cyber criminals use drones to hover above public spaces and use onboard computers to mirror the IP address of often used Wi-Fi hotspots in the area like those found at shopping malls, fast food restaurants, and airports. The user's smartphones, ever attempting to favor Wi-Fi rather than use cellular data, will log on automatically and start transferring personal information to a central computer via the drone. 
It is for this reason that you must never select the option Join Network Automatically. And if you are using a public Wi-Fi service, always make sure that you log off completely and select Forget Network. Now that you know how vulnerable your password is, let's tackle internal privacy. Facebook loves information, and it is constantly asking us to update or complete our profiles. But there is a lot of information we just do not need to share, like your phone number, for example. Cyber criminals at worst and prank callers at best can use your personal phone number to inflict varying degrees of mischief. Your phone number can actually be used to look you up. So, for example, if your number is listed anywhere, including perhaps a telephone book, a search on Facebook can bring a cyber criminal right to your home page, and there they can get all sorts of information about you. As an example. Let's type in a completely random number, four eight seven nine five eight one. Facebook will search its database and spit out all of the pages that have this number somewhere on it. This is also the first step used to find victims with poor privacy settings. So either do not let Facebook have your phone number, or if you have opted to use it for verification purposes, make sure it is hidden. To do this, open Facebook and click on your name at the top of the page. When your profile page loads, click the Update Info button in the lower right-hand corner of your cover photograph. Go to Contact and Basic Info in the left column, and next to your phone number, click the Edit link. You can now choose your audience. I suggest changing it to Only Me. Now. No one can see your phone number, and it certainly won't show up in any searches. While we are here, let's protect your home address. If your friends want to know where you live, they can ask you. Any scammer, hacker, or thief can take advantage of knowing your home address. Be sure that none of the information is visible anywhere on your Facebook profile. Again, in the contact and basic info section of your profile, look for neighborhood or address. And see if there is any address there. If so, click Edit and wipe out the information. Then click Save Changes. Work-related information can also be used to scam you. Criminals identify weak points in scamming companies, and this is very often to target the employees themselves. The information a cyber criminal can glean from your private page is valuable in tailor-making a scam. For example. Let's assume you post lots of pictures of your children, their school, their teachers, their friends, and you tag all of their faces. If a cyber criminal was able to get into your account, they can use this information against you. You might receive a telephone call from a teacher or perhaps a hospital worker, advising you that your child has just been in a terrible accident and requires a life-saving emergency operation. The hospital, however, is reluctant to do the operation without a sizable cash deposit and your consent. They give you an account number in which to deposit the money, which you do so immediately, and then make your way to the hospital, only to discover it was all a scam. But it sounded incredibly believable because the name of your teacher was given, the school, the neighbourhood, the nearest hospital, everything to make it sound realistic. It's not just identity thieves you have to worry about when it comes to employment. A lot of prospective employers, including hiring agencies, check your social media profile to determine if you are a suitable candidate. As such, make sure you check everything that goes onto your page. Allowing your friends to tag you in photographs without your consent is a definite no. In your privacy settings, make sure that you check timeline and tagging. This will allow you to decide who can post on your wall. And for sure, you should review all posts that anyone makes before they appear on your timeline. You should also check who can see things on your timeline. More often than not, this is public, which means that even strangers can see your posts. Check each and every post and determine who the audience is going to be. A grey globe indicates that it is for anyone, whereas a grey couple means it is only for your friends or subgroups thereof. Clicking the grey down arrow will open up options allowing you to change this. You can also change the default setting. Pick the option that is best for you, but it is advisable to ensure public is not selected. You still have the option of selectively changing this for each individual update you might post in the future. If you want to change the audience of posts that you have already submitted, you can do this here. 
you can choose to limit the audience for old posts on your timeline, for example. This will change everything you've ever posted to only be seen by your friends. Your relationship status is also a tricky one, especially when it comes to announcing a breakup or a divorce or it's complicated. This is an open invitation to cyber stalkers to target you with a very special romance scam. It is often easier just to remove your relationship status entirely, or at least mark it to only be seen by your close friends using methods we have already described. Never place payment information on social media. Facebook is free, despite the like-share scam often doing the rounds. But if you want the convenience of buying gifts and other products, there is an option to add your credit card details. To check if you have your payment details linked to your profile, open your Facebook. Click the upside down triangle in the top right corner and choose settings. In the left column, select payments. And then on the right, go to the account settings tab. You can see here if you have any saved payment information and remove it if needed. Finally, some quick tips depending on exactly how secure you want to be. If you do want to include your birthday, don't allow people to see the year you were born. Your birth date with the year included is a key piece of information to steal your identity. Always have boundaries. Sharing some information is fine, but be careful about advertising upcoming holidays, like we'll be away for three weeks. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to realize that a criminal armed with your address, Google Maps and this information can then take their time in deciding how best to clean you out. Another great tip is to scan the list of your friends. You have no need for a huge fan base on a personal page. Rather keep the huge database of friends for your business page and leave non-friends off your personal account. Chances are, if you have a huge friend list, some of them may be fake. Last year, almost 14.1 million fake profiles were created on Facebook. They are quite easy to spot most of the time. They have certain things in common, like they only have one or two photographs. They have only a few friends. It's a very new profile. It's fairly easy to check a photograph's origin using the info we explained in our like share video. But here's a recap. I actually received a friend request earlier today from one Sandra Donko. All the signs of a fake profile are there. Just a few pictures, just a few friends, and it's brand new. Start by opening up one of her photographs and right click to copy it. Now go to Google and select Image. Click on the Photo button to do an image search. Right click into the URL box and paste the link directly. Then search. As you can see, this is a common photograph used for scams and fake profiles. This is a brand new fake profile but given a few days to mature with some extra friends, a post or two, a few likes and joining a few groups, it could become a tempting offer to befriend a pretty girl like this, and you are none the wiser that a cyber criminal is actually behind it. So seriously, take the time to go through your friends list and weed out the people you don't actually know. A final safeguard is that you can have Facebook send you an alert every time someone accesses your account from an unknown computer, enabling you to receive a warning that someone may have gained unauthorized access to your account. Under the Privacy Settings, click Security. Click Edit next to the Login Notifications and choose whether you prefer to receive an email or a text message. Click on Save Changes and your login notifications are now active. Advanced options might be requiring a code every time that you log in from an unknown browser. A secure Facebook is a safe Facebook and scams only work because of a lack of knowledge so you're doing every one of your friends a favor by making sure that they know this information. If you found the information helpful, please like the video and share it with your friends. If you would like to add your comments, please feel free. Subscribing to our YouTube channel will ensure you'll be the first to know about any new videos getting posted, and liking our Facebook page is absolutely the best way to get updates about the latest scams, cons, and hoaxes. Much of the information in this video is taken direct from the book Scam, now out at leading bookstores or online. So next time you pass a bookstore, pop in, get yourself a copy and start scam-proofing your life. Thanks again for watching and have a scam-free day.